Simon here from Laney. We're here at the 2018 NAM show. Uh, one of the things that we launched at the NAM show this year is a new IoT SLS, and um, it's a 300 watt, um, you know, fly rig for guitar players. Three channels. Um, one of the things that I just wanted to kind of make clear is the fact that the fact that head is 300 watts. Um, you know, you don't have to be afraid of. Um, you know, destroying your speaker cabinets. You don't have to buy new speaker cabinets because any audiophile textbook will tell you that it's much, much better to overspec your amplifier rather than uh, overspec your speakers that you're using with the amplifier. The reason for that is it's not volume that actually. Um, destroy speakers. It's square wave clipping that destroys speakers. So if you if you have an um, an amplifier that's capable of producing 25 watts, and you connect a 200 watt cabinet to it, you think that you can turn your amplifier all the way up. The problem is if you turn your amplifier all the way up, you start to push the amplifier to the edges of its operating envelope, and at that point you can have a situation where any you know any sharp input, any any you know. A, Pick attack can actually cause the signal to clip and become square wave, and that's the thing that destroys speakers and cabinets. It's not volume. If you have a hundred watts, a speaker cabinet capable of producing a hundred watts, then you have. If you have a two hundred watt head, then operating your two hundred watt head at a hundred watts means that it's operating well within the envelope that it can happily sit at, and really, there's very little chance of you getting square wave clipping because you have a degree of headroom available to you. So I think, although we have 300 watts available for the IRT SLS, um, you know, you could quite easily connect a, a regular 100 watt cabinet, a regular 120 watt cabinet to it, uh, because you're not gonna be running the unit flat out, therefore you're not gonna be generating square wave clipping, and everything's gonna work perfectly fine. So uh, rest assured, 300 watt amp is not gonna destroy your speakers.